Hello and welcome to episode 18 of the Sweet Lavender Knits podcast. My name is Christine and I'm coming to you from just outside of Toronto, Ontario in Canada. Today is August the 12th, 2018. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon and uh, I am so glad that I was able to um, get some time to do this podcast today and I hope that you will uh, stick around and enjoy it for a bit. The podcast is mainly about knitting um, and maybe some crocheting and sewing um, and other crafts as I fancy them when and if I do have the time. Um, but today is going to be a very quick and shorter episode than usual. Um, and uh, yeah, because I don't have too many things to share with you as far as knitting. But I do want to go around and um, talk a bit about um, some giveaways that are happening and uh, giveaway winners. So uh, why don't you grab your needles, a favorite project that you like to work on, something nice to drink and let's get started. So thank you, thank you very, very much for joining me today. And I want to thank you for all of your lovely comments that you've been leaving, both here on YouTube as well as on Instagram and on Ravelry. We have a lovely Ravelry group uh, called Sweet Lavender Knits. You can also find me on social media, on Instagram as sweet underscore lavender one and on Ravelry as sweet lavender one. So, uh, yes, the La Ravelry group has uh, really uh, been keeping busy with all of the projects that you've been posting in the uh, FO threads and uh, just sharing and uh, our group is growing, um, which is nice to see and it's really nice to see the interaction. So, uh, the podcast if you are new is uh, mainly a way for me to connect with the knitting community and you are taking part in my knit night this is my knit night and thank you for joining me um, your comments are really really uh, encouraging and you know um, many of you were um, just um, cheering me on on my Zweig sweater and uh, you'll be seeing a little more of that today and um, I have really been enjoying these past two weeks uh, with lots of knitting as far as what I've been knitting um, but not having much uh, knitting time as I usually do. So my mileage uh, as far as knitting has not been a lot, but I've really been enjoying the, the time that I have had with it, which is very nice. The two weeks have been very, very busy. Uh, and even today I was just contemplating whether to stop and do this podcast because there are a zillion things I should be doing. Uh, we are getting ready to travel uh, to the States um, next week actually for a, f a family wedding and um, it is a little bit of a preparation more than just a vacation just because you have to take all the things you want for the wedding and this is an Indian wedding so you can imagine um, if you are familiar with the concept it's, it's a little more uh, involved and so um, yeah um, it's quite a bit of a preparation uh, getting everything ready and uh, I have to pack and get stuff ready um, basically by Tuesday because uh, I'll still be very busy with work and uh, the kids have their activities through the week that we have to get them to and all of that so it's going to be pretty busy and it's now um, almost the middle of August which means there's back to school and um, I have to get that going as well, preparing. So it's really, really been busy. Um, although the kids are not so happy about having to go back to school, I am a little relieved. At least things start to go back into a routine of sorts um, and not having to just find things for them to do constantly. I mean, the, the two older ones, they're, they're teenagers, they kind of do their own things, but it's my nine-year-old having 
to find activities for him to be do which he has quite a bit in the week but then getting him to those activities back and forth and then just you know um just ha making sure there's he's active during the day and not just sitting down with his ipad the whole day which um you know if you're if you're a young mother you will understand how easy it is to just give into that and you know try to get some time for yourself after a long busy day but uh yeah i do like to try and interact with the kids as much as possible and um yeah um uh, I'm sure all of you have experiences uh, of the sort. The weather has been up and down. We've had a lot of rain, uh, but uh, you know what? Today is a really beautiful day, so I'm gonna forget all of all the the bad weather we've been having. Bad as in, I'm sure people who like a really hot temperatures would not say it's bad it's been beautiful for them it's it's been a very hot summer uh and then it just got into this period of uh, torrential downpours and um today is beautiful it's bright blue and sky and it's beautiful day and it's just it's not so hot like we were outside in the morning and the afternoon we got home and it was it's still very nice it's beautiful outside um and that being said like i i did want you know i thought okay it's a nice day i should be running around getting some stuff done but i've been doing that the whole weekend up until this point and now i want to just calm down and you know get ready for the week ahead and um i've been thinking this is a, a really bad segue but i've been thinking about uh, a lot of you oh well a few of you have been asking about uh doing the instagram live um sessions or or you know just a short uh, time doing instagram live i guess um i don't know what that's called a post maybe um and i would like to and um you know maybe not knit along with it but you know just kind of chat and just interact with all of you i would love that um and then my question would be what is the best time that we can sort of coordinate it where the maximum number of you who are interested would be able to join in because really i mean if you if i was going to go um live on instagram i it would be nice if i had a at least another person to talk to <laughs> or else it'll be a little too silly so um yes i know we are in different time zones and um maybe if we can i'll open up a thread in ravelry and i'll call it instagram live and you could just tell me the day and the time um in your time zone but if you could it would be very helpful if you can give me the, the time in Eastern Standard Time and that's my time zone um, if not I can look it up that's that shouldn't be a problem um, but a day um, and a time and then we'll try and coordinate this so that we can have a few people um, you know together and uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm not the first person to even think about this. So it's been done before. It's just, uh, I don't have a very big audience. And so I would like it to be interactive and fun. And uh, yes, yeah, so I just do, please do tell me, I don't want to ramble on. <laughs> but yeah, let me know um, the date uh, or the day of the week and the time and um we can we can try and coordinate it and have something happen so that is uh yeah i will open up a thread on on uh ravelry and you know what if i don't get around to it guys um go ahead open it up one of you can open it up and i will chip in and jump in it's just that this week is a little busy for me so i might not get to it right away but go ahead feel free to open a thread and um you know start that conversation um 
next what's on the calendar so let's see we have a few things on the calendar but most exciting of it for you would be the july giveaway that is now closed uh i closed it at the end of july i believe it was I, august 1st morning i think i closed it off and so we will be drawing a winner for it or which i have already and i will be announcing the winner just at the end of the episode so if you can bear with me for just a few more minutes and uh we should be able to get through this quite fast um the next thing that we have going which is also coming to an end is the let's knit cal that we started way back on the 15th of april and it is now going to end on August the 15th. So August the 15th, uh, at the end of the day, I will close off the thread, uh, the FO thread, and I will leave the chatter thread. Actually, no, I'll, I'll go ahead and close both off. And um, we're going to be drawing two winners, one from the FO thread and one from the chatter thread on the next episode. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, get those last minute FOs in there. Uh, I've been seeing some really lovely projects happening and, you know, some of you have two and maybe three entries, which is really great. And you know what, this is all a very relaxed, um, setting for cows, really. Like, I just want you guys to have fun and, uh, you enjoy the process of knitting um, as much as I do. So yes, uh, that will be ending. And for you, if you are, you know, um, tuning in for the first time, not tuning in, but if you are joining us for the first time, then uh, this is a cal that's been going on since April the 15th, and it's for larger projects, something that would take you about two to three months to knit. And um, we have lots of lovely finished objects in the FO thread on the Ravelry group if you wanna go check it out. And uh, we will be having another cowl in September. Uh, and I will uh, talk more about that at maybe the next two episodes or so. So um, it's going to be a shawl cowl and hopefully all of you are ready for shawls um, and uh, we'll see. Um, I'm hoping to um, have something a little interesting this time so I'm working on the details of the cowl and I'll share that with you. Uh, next moving on to Operation Whip Control that's just another um, knit along of sorts where we are just cheering everyone uh, on we've all listed our um, works in progress that have been lingering on the needles for a very long time or so and just now we're trying to get them off the needles and uh, it's quietened down a little bit I am um, it does that mean that all of you have been done with your works in progress and I'm the only one left with like three on my list uh, but yeah just um, keep at it and uh, you know I, I understand that you know sometimes summer or uh, this time of the year summer or winter uh, depending on where you are uh you're probably taking a break or wanting to knit on other things which is perfectly fine so um yeah just keep it alive um you know feel free to join in with your works in progress your updates and what's happening i've been terrible at at posting things on ravelry recently it's just i haven't gotten time i go and check the posts that are you know, um, that others put on. So, um, uh, yeah, but I do want to share in. So please do join in. And, you know, if you haven't done so, just all you need to do is just list, list out your projects, whatever you want to get off the needle. And uh, as you do, you just check it off and you can you can post your finished object there. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a cow somewhere where you can join in and, um, you know, be part of that as well. Moving along to finished objects, I don't have any this week, I'm sorry. I, yeah, like I said, I didn't have a lot of knitting time. Uh, there are so many, well, not so many, there are two projects that are so close to being done, but I, I could not get it done. And uh, I would rather leave it to later where I do finish it and then, then I do share it with you. So um, nothing for this week as far as FOs. 
Moving on to whips or works in progress. I have two to show you today. And as you can probably guess by the project bags, you probably guessed one already if you've been watching my last two episodes. Let me take a sip of my drink first. Let's do this one. <laughs> and you know which one this is. It is my Zweig sweater. I want to say I'm on my third um, yarn, third skein of yarn. Um, and I am now alternating skeins just because I've come down to the little bit at the end of the second. And that's about um, how much I have. Uh, from the first as well that I'm going to leave for sleeves. So this is the end of the second and now I'm moving on to my third Which the cake was very neat and I don't know what happened now. It's all looking messy, but there it is It's my third skein. It is lovely yarn by um, Antonella from Cozy Posy Yarn Co. She's a Canadian um, ha She's a Canadian hand dyer hand dyer of yarns is that how you say it yes why am i having a brain block all of a sudden all right um and here is my swag it is i am almost at the um ribbing i'm at the ribbing now so i haven't started the ribbing but i will be this is my length under the um from the underarm here is the lovely yoke that I've shown you probably a million times. Oh, this is the front of the sweater. And I am loving it. Lots of speckling happening and it is, it is beautiful. Like you can see the texture, can you not? Yeah. And that is amazing. Thank you so much, guys. I really, I really appreciate your comments and, you know, just for encouraging me to keep on with the texture because now... I'm like, hey, it's not so complicated. It's just, you know, the two rows, that's it. And you just, then you're back to stocking net. <laughs> and stocking net is pretty boring. So yeah, it keeps it interesting. And I am very, very excited because I'm almost, almost there. So I don't know, I have to put it on and, and tr I, I'm gonna try it on and see if I like the length or if I wanna go a little further before I do the ribbing. And, um, but as for the pattern, that, that's how much I should have. But we'll see. I like to play with the length always. Um, I like my sweaters to come down just a little, just a little below my, uh, yeah, I think up to my hip at least. So we'll see. That is lovely yarn. And the, the pattern is my the Zweig by Caitlin Hunter. And like I said, I, I almost, I feel like it doesn't need any introduction at this point. It is a very beautiful sweater. It is lovely yarn. I can't say enough about the yarn. It's so nice to work with. And um, just, you know, the, the, I think the speckles uh, adds so much interest to the yarn. At the same time, it if it, there is a, you know, a step here and there that I might have missed. It kind of hides the many sins as well. So, um, yes, I have another new work in progress that I want to share with you. And if you've been following me on Instagram, you will see um, the yarn caked up, I think I sh shared. And now I have a little bit that I've knit on. So here is the start of another um a sock another sock for my son um and i'm trying to get him a few pairs of socks done before he has to leave for university uh he is my 18 year old the oldest and um oh actually it looks neater when the inside right so yes this is what i've been knitting on let me introduce the yarns to you first because this is the very first time i'm knitting with hue local yarn and i have to say i love it so this is a um, set of three i bought there were two minis um another one i don't know if i have it here uh yeah this was the other mini that came in the set and oh there we go there 
it's like a dark blue and this um sort of like a walnut ombre brown i don't know what color it is it's like a walnut brown to me and this lovely lovely speckled yarn so what is it called um it's the backyard chicken collection by hugh loco and uh it's on her phyllis sock base which is 7525 superwash merino and nylon there are 463 yards in a 100 gram skein so the set comes with 100 gram skein and two 20 gram skeins which is a very decent size for um heels heels toes and um cuff maybe i'm not sure if there's enough to do all three so i'll show you what i did with it um the collection were co is called the hens and this one here is the golden lace wine doughty i'm not sure how to pronounce that but there it is that's that's the one that this is and uh you know what i think she's captured the colors perfectly like if you look at the the chicken um that this is these these are the colors um in the feathers and i think it has a little bit of red which i haven't seen in here yet but otherwise these are the perfect colors so it came with the two minis um like i was showing you these two and i got my son to pick the one that he wanted um he picked the brown and so I wasn't sure if I, I wanted to do uh, the heels, toes and cuff, but I wasn't sure if there'll be enough. So what I did was just do two rows as a sort of like a um, li little lining kind of thing. And um, I think it has a nice touch to it. And the heels and the toes will be in the color too. Hopefully I'll have enough. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the pattern I had to stick to, I just kicked the, the tripod, I'm sorry. Um, I had to stick to a ribbing because I know that that works for him uh, as far as socks and I, I didn't have, I don't have the time to experiment um, with too many different patterns at this point. So what I opted uh, and I've done like two three by one ribbings uh, in a row now with socks so I wanted to switch it up just a little bit so what I've done is um, this pattern here and basically it is ribbing and then broken with a, um, a row of pro and then again the ribbing and broken so this is the three by one ribbing and then it's broken with a row of pearls in between and I think it creates a very nice pattern um very similar maybe to the um blueberry socks blueberry waffle socks um not sure but i didn't even stop to look at it i was just like okay this works for me and i can do this but then what was interesting about it is that the pattern is totally reversible and i think i'm gonna make these into reversible socks so here is the reverse side of the pattern and because I did a one by one uh, ribbed uh, cuff um, it looks the same on both sides really uh, uh, the cuff does and here is the reverse of the um, sock and that looks nice too like if you look at it uh, a lot of people are going for this um, um, look where I see a lot of purling in socks and I'm not a fan of purling in the round um, but if I knit it on one side and then it turns out to be like this on the other side hey I'm t I think that's really great so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make these into reversible socks and um, yeah I think it's gonna be fun We'll see, and then that way he can wear it uh, whichever way he likes. Hopefully he'll um, try them both out and uh, it'll be fun for him. So yeah, I, I like it. Um, it was kind of interesting and I was really happy, but there you go.
I have housed it in my um, uh, project bag that I've shown you guys a few times before. And that is all I have as far as works in progress. And now moving on to the July giveaway, but I'm just going to take a sip of my drink just before we do that. All right, so uh, first of all, thank you very, very much for all of you who participated in the uh, July giveaway. If you are new, that is just a monthly giveaway that I do whenever I can. Um, and that is to say thank you to you. Thank you for your support uh, in being a um, subscriber on YouTube as well as um, member of the Ravelry group and um, it's just my way of thanking you and um, the prize is um, a pattern from Ravelry of your choice that you have in your queue and it's usually ten dollars and under and yeah it's just uh, I pull out a winner by through random number generator which I have and this time we had um, uh, 14 entries so the entries went from 2 to 15 and um, I did the number random number generator right before we started and I we have a winner the winner is number five and that is Sandra from Queensland in Australia Congratulations, Sandra, and you are, um, your Ravelry um, tag is I Love My Garden, and um, thank you very much for joining in this giveaway, and congratulations, you have won, so uh, please do drop me a note on Ravelry and let me know which of the patterns from your Ravelry queue that you would like have gifted to you. And uh, yes, thank you for all of those who joined in and uh, you can um, just look forward to the next one and play again. So I think um, this will be a really fun way of, um, you know, having a group and just um, being part of it. And since it's a fairly small group, your ha chances of uh, winning the prize is uh, you know, higher than usual, I guess. So I really, really thank all of you for joining in and um, really, um, you know, uh, it's been so wonderful. I'm sorry I didn't have a lot to share with you as far as the knitting, but I did want to check in and just announce the July giveaway because the next time on the, the episode, it will be the uh, winners of the um, Cal that I'd be announcing on there and also talking about uh, maybe a little bit more about the Cal that we have planned for September. It'll be in two weeks, hopefully, uh, depending on how everything goes. Um, maybe three weeks um, so um, hope you will understand it's it's a very very busy time for me just getting everything ready and uh, yes I look forward to ch coming back and chatting with you thank you very very much for your time today I hope you got some uh, crafting done or knitting done whatever it was that you were um, doing and um, I thank you for spending this time with me and I hope you will join me again on the next midnight. Happy knitting until then. Bye-bye.